Hello, and today I am going to be looking at who is better. Obviously, it's Master System versus NES. The guns. The light phaser or the zapper. Which is better? So the first thing I'm going to look at is, well, how comfortable it is. This isn't very comfortable, especially with this grip here. It, it doesn't feel very well. If you can, Yeah, there. So, I don't know, and I don't like the trigger as much. It's, it's kind of a weird trigger. But this... You can hear this a lot more, and this feels a lot more powerful. Because you got the power. Nintendo power. So, on which one's more comfortable? Definitely the zapper. Even says Nintendo Zapper. Now I'm going to be looking at which one looks better. And if you have the orange zapper, obviously this one. No one likes the orange zapper. But the gray zapper, I'm going to see how it compares. Looking at it, uh, my opinion is, is that, I don't know, the, the light phaser looks like something more in a Robocop movie. This looks more like a assassin's gun. Look how long at the end. I like the zapper a lot better. I think it looks a lot cooler. And on the side it says Nintendo Zapper. Uh, even though Sega's light phaser does look pretty cool. The gray zapper looks better than the light phaser, but no one likes the orange zapper. That, that thing's just ugly. Why do they have to put orange at the end of everything? I wonder if cops were really shooting kids because they thought they had real guns. Just look, even from as far away as I can get without hitting my television. Does it look like a gun? Huh? Do you think it... Do, you, do I look like I'm holding an actual block? No. So, now, the zapper is one in just about everything, but now I'm going to look at which one works better. I don't have a master system, which it might seem weird that I'm doing this video, even though I don't have a master system. But let me tell you, the games I've seen for this do not look good. The games I've seen for this, the light phaser, I do not like. The, the graphics aren't good. The graphics are not good. They just don't look impressive. It's weird because I'm pretty sure the master system came out. Def definitely around the same time as the NES, but I think it might have come out after it. So why doesn't it have better graphics? Duck Hunt, um, what's the other one? Ah, oh, man, I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember it. Hogan's Alley, that is very good. Hogan's Alley, um, what's the other? Operation Wolf, Duck Hunt, those are really good games. I mean, even shooting the barrels in uh, Hogan's Alley, trying to make them go up into the level thing. Those, that is just fun. That is just really, really fun. So, I, I think that the Zapper is definitely better because from what I've heard, it works better. Works a lot better. This thing is unresponsive. It, uh. It breaks easier. Graphics are terrible, which is weird because a lot of Master System games actually look fairly well. But I heard the graphics don't look good on this. Well, I didn't hear. I actually saw them and they don't look good. Not as good as the Zapper. Nintendo Zapper looks a lot sharper, I think. So, Light Phaser versus the Zapper. I think the Zapper wins. Because the Zapper was made by a system that actually did better than the Master System, in America at least. Um, but yeah, the Zapper just worked better. It worked a lot better. I'm not going to be doing the um, the Super Scope versus the Miniser because no one knows what the Miniser is, barely anybody. And if you don't know, it's the Genesis gun. But I think the Zapper definitely wins with better graphics, better look, and more response. It actually responds to it a lot better. 
So buy the zapper. Don't buy the light phaser for the master system. And our thing, you're a lot more likely to have a Nintendo than a master system if you're in America. So thank you for watching my zapper versus the light phaser. I hope you enjoyed it and you should also look at some of my other versus videos.